el ex vicepresidenta Mike Pence se está preparando posiblemente para anunciar su candidatura a la presidencia de los Estados Unidos en las próximas elecciones. Pence hizo el anuncio en una entrevista con Fox News, donde criticó duramente las políticas de la actual administración demócrata en la frontera y afirmó que está listo para liderar el país hacia un futuro mejor. El pueblo americano mira lo que está sucediendo en la frontera, de lo que estamos hablando. Las políticas fracasadas de esta administración. Pence, quien también sirvió como gobernador de Indiana, es un republicano de toda la vida y un defensor de los valores conservadores. Con su candidatura, se espera que atraiga a una gran cantidad de votantes republicanos y quizás a algunos independientes y demócratas moderados. Solo falta esperar patriotas si quieres sentir la derrota frente al titán Donald Trump. ¿Y tú dime qué opinas del fariseo Pence? Que viva Trump presidente 2024. More now with the former Vice President Mike Pence. And sir, thank you for being with us today. I know you're home in Indiana. Appreciate the time being here. Uh, two things came to mind when I knew you were on our program. Yeah, you bet. Um, Republicans want my orcas out. I think even if they get their wish, there won't be a policy change in the border. We can see that clearly. Two months ago, you were in New York sitting here on the set here with Dana. And, and you said this administration is part of the open border society. Well, We're about to see uh, whether or not you were right. And just looking at the aerial video that Britt Jenkins showed us from Brownsville, you nailed it. Uh, well, well, Bill, look, it breaks my heart that we nailed it. But the truth is, uh, from literally the day that the 2020 election was settled, What we've seen coming uh, from South and Central America is nothing short of a stampede. We're standing here today in the worst border crisis in American history as a direct result of the open borders policies of President Joe Biden and the Democrats and the message that they've sent south of our border. But it's also a result of the decisions this president made to stop construction of the wall, to make every effort to suspend the remain in Mexico policy that I negotiated on behalf of our administration uh, with Mexico. And finally, one week from today, allowing Title 42 to go away, I, I, we're literally at a time when the, when the Mexican cartels are in operational control of our border, Uh, just as Griff just said a few moments ago, a storm is coming and 1,500 troops going to the southern border to do paperwork isn't going to make a difference. This administration has got to stop, plan its feet, reverse course, and put back into place the policies that our administration used to reduce illegal immigration and asylum abuse by 90%. Well, <clears throat> you may want that, but doesn't appear it's going to happen. Robert Kennedy Jr. just sent out a tweet. Uh, in part, he said, is it possible to be pro-immigration and pro-closing the border? Yes. Uh, he goes on to say, right now we have chaos at the border, human trafficking, criminality, intolerable stress on border states like Texas. It's a humanitarian nightmare. Sir, I need a quick answer before I'm satisfied. He's got a lot in common yeah, you with better Republicans. Look, uh, well, uh, look, we, what's happening at the border uh, is a direct result of the failed policies of the Biden administration. And I don't, look, I welcome, uh, I welcome uh, Robert Kennedy's uh, message on this, but frankly, The voice that needs to be heard is the voice of the American people. Bill, you say you don't expect much change here. My orcas is going down for a couple of days to visit the border. 1,500 troops that they denounced when our administration sent them uh, is not going to make a difference. But I'll tell you what will make a difference. When the American people see this incredible surge uh, across the border when Title 42 goes away, to add to the 5 million people that have come into this country illegally, uh, when that gale force wind of the will of the American people strikes Washington, D.C., things change. And so I think every one of your viewers, every American who cares deeply about the human suffering that's happening across this country and frankly on both sides of the border 
needs to let their voice be heard because a storm is coming one week from today at the southern border. We're about to go from bad to worse, but it doesn't have to happen. Yeah. Um, right. Two weeks ago, we did a Fox poll. We find you at 6% in the primary race. Your former boss, Donald Trump, is well ahead of you at 53%. A few days ago, you said you're going to make the decision well before June. Uh, I don't know if you're going to break the news today. Who, if you do, you're welcome to have the microphone here. I, my question would be for you. Do you expect to be on the stage for the Fox News debate in Milwaukee the third week of August? Yes or no? <laughs> well, it's a real nice try, Bill. I got to compliment you. That's a new one. Look, uh, I don't have anything to announce today, but we're getting an awful lot of encouragement around the country. I mean, the American people, look at what's happening at the border, what we're talking about. The failed policies of this administration at home and abroad have weakened America. And I think everyone that has the ability to bring about change has a responsibility to think deeply about what role they might play. Uh, and I promise you, in the days ahead, uh, when we have something to announce, I'll be right back here on Newsroom to do it, all right? Uh, we've got an invitation for you when it happens. You're welcome to join us anytime, so I make that news. Thank you for your time on May the 4th, Mike Pence. Thank you, sir. Queridos patriotas, al despedirnos hoy, reflexionemos sobre la posible candidatura presidencial de Mike Pence y cómo podría afectar a las próximas elecciones. Es cierto que existe la posibilidad de que su candidatura compita con la de Trump, lo que podría aumentar aún más la división dentro del Partido Republicano. Sin embargo, no podemos olvidar que la política es un tema complejo y dinámico, y que las elecciones presidenciales de los Estados Unidos involucran a muchos factores y actores diferentes. Además, debemos tener en cuenta la experiencia del Titán, como presidente de Estados Unidos de América, lo que le da una gran ventaja. En estos tiempos de incertidumbre, es importante recordar que la unidad y la colaboración son esenciales para alcanzar nuestras metas como nación. Mantengamos nuestros oídos y mentes abiertos y trabajemos juntos hacia un futuro mejor para todos. Que vivan los Estados Unidos de América.